Hello, I'm David and you're watching Cruise Show UK. Have you ever wondered how to score an incredible deal on a luxury cruise? Today we're on board Celebrities Beyond and not only will I reveal how I snagged this stunning aqua class room for just £91 per person per night, but also take you on an exclusive room tour you won't want to miss. Stick around and let's unlock the secrets. Let's start our Celebrity Beyond series with our room tour. We're staying in an aqua class cabin on deck 10. It's cabin 10219. Let's go and have a look. Here we go. Wow, very nice. So straight in through the door, you've got lighting and uh, temperature controls there and then on into the lounge area. On the right hand side you've got the wardrobe and lots of storage. We'll take a look at that at the end. Um, so just here you've got a nice little uh, chaise lounge with some nice cushions and I love the artwork. It's a really nice pop of colour and uh, it's quite comfy as well. And then opposite we have got a, a nice chest of drawers, three good sized drawers with a divider in the middle. I like those. And you've got your mini fridge as well. Um, it's a standard mini fridge setup. The drinks in there, they're not included. It doesn't matter what uh, drinks package you may have, they're not included. Um, I do like this, uh, which has been talked about quite a lot. It's a nice cable tidy for all your chargers and USBs. Uh, you put all of the bricks in there and then you can shut the lid, keeps it all nice and tidy, I like that. Really like the benefits of staying in an aqua class cabin. You get complimentary water, yoga mats in the cabin, access to the blue restaurant and the sea thermal suite. Let's talk about the bed area. It's a lovely king size bed, it looks huge. Um, the fabrics are lovely and soft. Uh, there's lots of really plush pillows and I like the pop of color of this runner and on the pillows as well. Let's give it a try, it looks really comfy. The mattress is super thick. Oh. Beautiful. On this side of the bed, you've got a nice little bedside table with three shelves. There's a nice light there, and there's a, an American power socket and two USB-A sockets. On this side of the bed, you've got a very similar setup. Nice little countertop and a nice light, but I do find it frustrating. There's no power sockets on this side, no USB sockets, uh, not built into the light at all like some other ships. Um, but I do have a tip for you to get round it. Back on this side of the bed, you'll notice the phone. And the phone has got a USB-A power socket on it. And the cable is plenty long enough. Well, actually, the socket is on that side. So get your room steward to move the phone over onto that side. And then you'll have a USB-A socket. Just to prove it can be done. Et voila! And then opposite the bed, you've got a very nice TV. It's fixed to the wall, it doesn't move. And lots of people do ask me, you cannot access the ports, the HDMI sockets and things like that. But it's a lovely TV. Let's have a look at the balcony. Here I am in the infinite veranda. And first of all, it doesn't feel like a balcony, um, but I do like it, it really adds to the room. Um, it feels like a conservatory with a beautiful ocean view. I really like this bistro set. The chairs are super comfy and it's very relaxing sat here on the veranda. I also like the convenience of the automatic blind and uh, window controls. Let me show you. So it's super simple. You've got a light out here and then there's buttons to lower the blind and then there's another button to lower the window. Let me show you the storage before we look at the bathroom. At the top, we've got some nice beach towels that you can take ashore with you. And then below, there's lots of things in here. Shoe shine bag, there's binoculars for you to use, uh, laundry bags, and uh, there's an umbrella for you to use while you're on board the ship as well, and an ice bucket as well. But it's quite a nice storage area. And then the wardrobe. It's quite a good space. It's bigger than I expected. Lots of hanging space. Uh, you've got your yoga mats in there because it's aqua class. You've got three drawers and then there's a mini safe. Actually, it's more like a micro safe, to be honest. Um, you've got room in there for iPads and phones, but not a laptop. You wouldn't get a laptop in there at all. And there's a countertop. Yeah, it's a good wardrobe. We are with the bathroom. 
it's a lot bigger than I expected it to be. It's very nice, very nice and modern. I really like the vanity area. It's got a really nice uh, mirror, which is heated so it won't fog up. The shower looks fantastic. It's got to be one of the best cruise ship showers that I've uh, seen. There's a lovely rainfall uh, shower head and uh, body as well. A lovely upgraded uh, shower um, products. Looks really nice. So let me give you my final thoughts on the room and tell you how I got a great price. So overall, I do, I like the room. I don't love it. I think they could have done more with it. Um, I like that there's punches of color, which I think are really needed. What would have been a nice touch is if the room had smelt like a spa. I can't wait to try the Blue Restaurant, which is exclusive to Aqua Class guests. Uh, I'll be doing another video about that so make sure you stay tuned and also the thermal suite in the spa looks incredible i'm really excited to try that as well let's review the pricing that i paid for the cruise now i originally booked an inside cabin uh, because celebrity are a more premium line and if i book an inside cabin it means that i can take more cruises however like most of you i really like a balcony cabin so i use celebrity's move up program to place a bid and I bid on as many categories of cabin at uh, the minimum bid that I could and I struck gold with an aqua class cabin. So this 10 night sailing on Celebrity Beyond we paid £910 per person which is a considerable saving on the regular price. I've used the equivalent of Celebrity's Move Up programme several times now with lots of different cruise lines and I've had great success. A great way to get a better grade cabin at a bargain price. And you normally get an email from Celebrity about it, but even if you don't, you can just go to the Celebrity website and you can bid for the upgrade from their website directly. There we go, I think that's the end of the tour. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe, it's completely free. And stay tuned for more videos coming soon from Celebrity Beyond.